Okay, folks, the constant question. Are we live or not? I can't see myself being live, but according to the chat, we are indeed live. Great. Welcome. Welcome to what I hope will be the last episode of my epic walk along the Chuo Line from Tokyo Station in central Tokyo out to Takao uh, in the western, how should I say, far out to the west in the mountains, uh, west of Tokyo. Still within the city borders of Tokyo. Though. Welcome and let's walk. So I am in Hino now. This is the sixth, sixth episode of this uh, series. Uh, so I walked all the way to a place called Hino, which is a pretty ma minor station uh, between Tachikawa and Hachioji in the west of Tokyo. Um, and from here I have roughly 13 kilometers left to walk. So I will try to finish it all today, uh, but um, I don't want to make any promises because unexpected things can always happen. Uh, but uh, I hope I will be able to finish this uh, series today, yes. Small little bus terminal here. See, I've never been here before. Well, other than last weekend when I uh, finished my walk at this station. But I've never really walked around here. So let's see if this... Okay, this map gives us a little bit of... Um, information. We are here now. This is Hino. Over here is Tachikawa. And we will be walking. Here's the Chuo line train tracks, this black and white line. So I will be follow following the train tracks as much as possible. And uh, this is Hachioji. Um, and from there, Takao is even further to the west. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan. See how it goes. But uh, I think we're looking at three hours uh, or more today. And then after this, after, once I reach Takawa, we'll also do a Patreon only uh, stream uh, around there. How's my horizon today? It looks all right, doesn't it? It's relatively straight, right? Do I need to make any adjustments? I think we're okay. Battery status, yeah, I just started with a fully charged phone, so um, should be okay. And then uh, I also have a mobile battery with me, so I might have to charge a little bit before the Patreon stream, we'll see. Uh, but um, we should be, we should be good. Three hours shouldn't be a problem, unless there's something wrong with the phone. I've done four hours. That's about as far as I can push this battery. Good. So one of my Japanese viewers says that he or she used to live around here. <laughs> so it took me an hour to get here from where I live. So uh, we're pretty far out. Uh, but yeah, as I said, we're still within the official city borders of uh, Tokyo, which is kind of funny. Ah, oh, Laura is here too. Great. All my mods are here today. The weather is very nice, as you can see blue skies uh, it's going to get up to 15 degrees today right now let's check 
えー、っとはい、now it is 12 degrees and、uh, yeah, getting warmer so definitely comfortable I left my winter jacket at home today and I'm wearing my my、uh, spring slash rain jacket、um, so very nice and of course I also have my let's see there we go I also have my camera With me. Yes, I was not happy with、uh, the walk I did a few days ago, so uh, it's uh, not uh, available right now. I don't want to go into details about that right now, but、uh, sometimes I'm not happy with how the Streams and everything end up, and、uh, I don't want to give people a bad first impression of my channel. That's why. But it's still available through my Patreon、um, direct links. Jacket reveal, yes. You will need to buy Ehomaki. I had Ehomaki a few days ago. Uh, we did have, have Ehomaki. Here's a newly built house for sale. If anyone's interested, I don't know how much it is though. But I think around here, and due to the fact that it doesn't have the best view, unless you're really into these kind of electrical facilities, I'm guessing that it shouldn't be. Oh, oh, wait, no, maybe it's not for sale actually.、They're, okay, so they're building a new house there next to this one. They're building one that will be for sale.、Uh, Thirty million yen? Yeah, sounds about reasonable, I think. Around here shouldn't be too expensive. But then again, it's close to the station and. I think also the express trains actually stop here, which makes it a little bit more expensive as well. Oh, that was a cute little local train. Yeah, weather's really nice. I actually have to unzip my jacket. It's quite warm. Why is it we never see a Japanese flag? Oh, we do sometimes, but they are mostly just used when it's like national holidays and stuff. People don't, don't generally put the Japanese flag out. You see them occasionally. Already three hundred people tuned in. Good to see. Let's hope we will get a. Big crowd today. At least this time should be okay for most of North America, I guess. Or, well, South America as well.、Um, but my European viewers may not be super happy about this time slot.
Hello, red man. Good to see you here as well. Your merch delivers to India. Yes, it should. It should be worldwide shipping. Um, you can probably find out all the information about the shipping on the website, uh, the Teespring website. They're the ones who take care of all the orders. Yeah, very quiet here. Very quiet residential neighborhood. But then again, we are pretty far away from central Tokyo, so no wonder. So you can tell that the houses around here are a bit bigger than in central Tokyo. All the legends are here. Great! Uh, what would I do without my loyal and awesome community? Around here it's super quiet. I think once we get to Hachioji uh, it will get a little bit more lively. Hachioji is a pretty uh, kind of urban place so uh, and it's like halfway through this walk so maybe in an hour or so we should arrive at Hachioji. Wow it's really warm actually. I don't want to take off my jacket. Okay, in Tohoku, no, no, no. Uh, only Chuo line around here. Okay, in Tohoku line is uh, not passing around here. Oh, S is here too. Haven't seen you much recently. Thanks for stopping by. Great, Michael, that you got the vaccine. My mom told me earlier this week that she will also get it soon. So, yeah, it's good. She's uh, upper 60s. So, I think in Sweden they used to, they started with 70 plus, but now they lowered it to 60 or 65 plus. Michaels are all here. <laughs> Great. So I think at some point I need to turn right because if I just keep walking next to the tracks, um, I won't be able to uh, uh, cross. There's a river coming up. Oh, and thank you, Chad, for joining my Patreon. Just got a notification that I got a new Patreon supporter. Thank you so much. What vaccine for Japan? Uh, they haven't started here yet. I think it's Pfizer and... I forgot if it's the Moderna one as well. But they plan to start later in February. But just for a very limited amount of people. Mostly like healthcare workers. And then if we gradually roll out to first the elderly and then yeah Japan's pretty much behind the rest of the world so let me do a little map check here might be supposed to turn here um, 
Just a moment, folks. Okay, I can still... So let me... Maybe I can do a little update. So we started here at Hino. I will be following the train tracks as much as possible. But here, if I keep following this bridge, I, I won't be able to cross. So I need to go down to this bridge in order to be able to cross the river. And then we will arrive at uh, Hat Hachioji. I think it is yeah, Hachioji here. And then continue, continue. And eventually we will reach Takao. Um, but yeah, for here, let me check again. I should follow the tracks a little bit further down. Okay. Uh, someone asked about skateboards. I'm not sure, but I think it would be okay to ride a skateboard here. It's mostly in like city center and on private land uh, that you it, that it might be prohibited. Feels like my no. Okay, my horizon is still okay. see like the mountains far in the distance I'm not sure if the is my horizon all right yeah it's not bad right sometimes I don't really trust this gimbal So after crossing this street, um, I should. So now I need to turn here. Looks like it's a nice view over here. Though. Let's check that out. Itenki desu ne. So desu ne. Kyo wa hontu ni itenki. Naka haru poi. Ice cream, tabutai no tanki. looks pretty cool actually let me just walk down a little bit further and we'll zoom in on this view for you Let's see, can I stand here? Yes, I can. so let's have a look can you see this hillside with all the houses kind of climbing up the, the hillside That's a view I don't see in central Tokyo very often. I will take a picture of this. Thank you, S. Thank you so much. Great song, by the way. Samui desu ka? Ja, amari samukunai desu. Kyo wa hontoni kimochi tanki. 
14度ぐらいかな15度になりそうこんにちははい。It's gonna be another long one, 40 something kilometers, if I remember correctly. So, and it's gonna be a very nice one. I'm looking forward to that one a lot. So, if I finish this today, then I will start that. The next not long one tomorrow. Those long streams are basically for the weekends. In the week weekdays, I rarely have time to, you know, spend more than half a day on streaming. So on the weekdays, I have to do a bit shorter streams, mostly from like relatively close to from my house. Also, Ray, here we go. つをあの選択します。高尾にしまいます。More cones. Looks like I'm not welcome to enter this little forest or park or whatever. Signal issues. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Rip.、Um, signal won't be great、uh, today, but I think once we get to Hachiyoji, we should be fine. I'm finally allowed to enter this little green space. Connection was bad, yeah. It happens. It happens. Building like new apartments here? Maybe. No, those big buildings in the back are not new. They're old. They're just being renovated, I think. Or like they have to fix up the facades, maybe.
Uh, have you made a walk through Kamakura in the past? Yes, there's a Kamakura walk on my channel. That was before I started doing live streams, so it's a, it's a silent video, but it's uh, yeah in 4K image quality and hopefully should be quite pleasant to watch. So you can check that out. I plan to go there again sometime for a live stream. I haven't been. I think last time I went there was uh, when I filmed that stream and that's that's before my daughter was born so I think this spring sometime so it's time to go again I need to go to uh, uh, Enoshima again soon as well for a live stream and by the way my my daughter is turning six months old today so we will have a little birthday party for her after after this stream. Looking forward to that. Yeah, Enoshima is definitely coming up again. Right here. I guess they are looking for some bird up here. So going there. watcher so I probably wouldn't understand anyway but looks like there's some something going on his lens is definitely bigger bigger than mine but you know what they say the bigger the lens the smaller the <laughs> the smaller the bank account, exactly, exactly. Okay, I think I need to do another map check here to make sure that I'm not losing my way oh, I should be able to walk down here fungus thank you yeah hope you can make it it will be another probably three hours until it starts though so if it's too wait late for you you can always watch it afterwards I guess here I don't think even if I zoom in you probably wouldn't be able to see it but you can see in the far far distance you can see what I think is central Tokyo some of the high-rise buildings I have coffee I'm ready for battle great and also I guess it's weekend so it's okay to sleep in tomorrow hopefully Where you have to drink on this walk? Uh, good question. Oops, I almost fell. Um, good question. Good question. I think at some point I will want to have a beer today, but um, I haven't had lunch yet. So, um, I think it looks like I can walk down here, and then there's a small little street that I can follow. 
Um, then we're actually not uh, another burger today maybe maybe I'm not ruling it out I haven't had a burger since last weekend so I think today it's okay to have a burger um, maybe I will uh, we'll see if I will do it during the stream or if I will do have a burger and a beer afterwards with my patrons we'll see we'll see We are getting closer to next station, next stop on the Chua line, which is Toyoda station. So we are between Hino and Toyoda stations on the Chua line right now. Uh, I will not have... Uh, yes, if I'm having a burger, it's definitely not gonna be uh, one of those two big chains. Um, I want to continue the burger review uh, thing. Oh, and thank you, Fungus, and thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. You feed me. Burger King or Wendy's, yeah, could be. Ideally, I would like to find some like smaller independent burger shop though, but uh, we shall see. AKA Burger Explorer, yeah. <laughs> so we just passed the 30 minute mark. And this walk. Maybe like oh this looks this actually looks like a nice little curry shop. But it's way too early for uh, lunch, but it looks like the kind of place I would like to try. Yeah if you can find a good burger shop around the Takao station, that would be great. It says we walked 5k so far. 6,900 6, steps. Do you like chicken tats, tatsuta burger? Uh, I'm not sure if I've tried that. Have you been to Shake Shack? Yes, many times. It's okay. I do find it a little bit overrated and their burgers are so extremely greasy, which I am not too fond of. And also a little bit, a little bit overpriced for what you're getting. Thoughts on Moss Burger. Um, you should watch my, which one was that? Two streams ago? Maybe the fourth episode of, um, no, the last episode. It was the last episode. Yeah, right. So episode five of this Chuo Line walk where I had a Moss Burger and uh, reviewed it. Ah, G-Man AG, thank you for joining the channel. Thank you very much. Now you get the co cool little logo next to your messages in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Great Ray, yeah. Get a mom and pop burger. It's 
sad that there's... Well, it would be sadder if there's no burger shop at all. I hope there's something. So, Toyota Station. Thank you, Rockaway Siren, for always promoting my walk. Okay, there's a burger shop here, but let's not... Let's not even... Um, yes, thank you, Rockaway Siren, for always promoting my walks on your Instagram. I just got the notification about your, <laughs> your story. So we are at Toyota Station now. Let me check the map again. Okay, I can just continue walking here. New to your streams. How long do you usually stream for? Um, my streams are generally pretty long, I think, uh, compared to most. Um, on the weekends, I often do like three, three hours, sometimes even four hours. If it's only two hours, it's a short one for a weekend. On weekdays, they are a little bit shorter, maybe around two hours on average. Karen, thank you. Love the view. Also, thank you for joining the postcard club. I noticed I got a notification earlier today that you increased your patron support to join the postcard club. Thank you so much for that. You will be getting a postcard uh, later this month together with everyone else. Only burger places near Takao. I can find a McDonald's and Burger King. I see. That's too bad. How about in Hachioji then? I could just go back there after the stream and have the burger there instead. Yeah, since we're close to a station, there's a few bigger apartment buildings around here. There's a few around Hachiyoji, right? Yeah, it should be. Should be. Norma Sheffield, you are living in Hino. Nice! Yeah, I must be close to you. <laughs> close to you then. Let's see. Rather than spending the time looking for a burger shop now, we can we can see what the mood is like once I get there. My my Patreon supporters decide what I will have for lunch today. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Thank you for the super chat. Lunch money. So here's where I need to turn and walk a little further away from the train tracks. Thank you, Appalachian Wanderer, as well, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Karen, you were a Karen before it became unpopular to be a Karen. Good. Yeah, I'm not sure how I would feel um, about the fact that your name has been hijacked by the internet to represent something that you are not. Hope you're not taking it too personally. I'm really hot. I'm really, really hot. I think I need to 
let me put down the camera for a second here and uh, take off my jacket. with me when I left my wife was like hey you're only gonna wear that it's gonna be too cold but no it's not it's too hot it's too hot Especially this one, it's a, it's a rain jacket, so it's like has this rubbery texture on the inside, which is not very nice when you're getting warm and sweaty. It becomes like a wearable little sauna. Uh, not pleasant at all, so. Let's see if I can squeeze it into my bag. Okay, sorry about that. Let's, let's keep on walking. Sweater reveal. <laughs> And okay, sorry, I need to check the map again. Driving school down here. Uh, so, okay, I actually need to go up. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Laura. Thank you, glad you like it. Uh, where am I? We just closed, uh, we, we just uh, crossed or passed the uh, Toyoda station, um, which is in the far west of Tokyo. I think I need to work out some more too, yes. My belly is not very flattering right now. I guess I like burgers too much. Burgers and chocolate. Gaikoku no chito sha gakko ate donna kanji daro. Koku wa itta koto nai kedo. Tabun nihon to sonna ni kawara nai to omoimasu. go a little bit further to Keio Takao station yeah there's lots of you mean Ta Keio Takao or Takao Sanguchi uh, near Takao Sanguchi there's lots of shops that is true uh, but I'm not planning or well, maybe well let's see let's see Essence sometimes, yes, <laughs> yes, Yari. Ich muss. Uh, what would you like to see for the next Rico GR? Um, I don't know, I think it's as good as it can get with the current technology. 
I mean, I would love to see them make a full full frame version, but uh, if they did, I think it would also be significantly bigger, um, which would kind of um, remove a little bit of the appeal, maybe. Uh, but I mean, the fact that they put image stabilizing, image sta an image stabilizer in there is uh, is really that was a big deal for me. That's why I decided to get this one. The GR3 image stabilizer means a lot for my way of shooting. Ah, thank you, Jenny. Okay, let's get some dark chocolate for the walk. Tilt screen. I don't care about that. I'd rather don't have a tilt screen on the GR unless it suddenly becomes very good for video. But for stills, I don't really feel that I need tilt screen. Um, Sorry, I'm checking the map again. Yes, I should. Okay, I should just follow this bigger road for a while. Um, a brighter lens, of course, would be a very good upgrade. But then again, that would also mean that it would get bigger, heavier and more expensive. But if I were to dream, yeah. Uh, something similar but with a full frame um, sensor and uh, a brighter lens um, would be kind of my ideal camera and that's pretty much what the Leica Q is so unfortunately we have one of those in my, our household as well but um, then also we have the first generation Leica Q and actually that sensor isn't great Enough about geeky camera talk. <laughs> I mean, I love talking about cameras, but I'm not sure how interested you, my dear viewers, think about it. I actually used to have an RX1, uh, the first generation. It's a nice camera, I like it. But uh, the autofocus on the first generation was pretty awful. Um, and also that sensor is also very old now since it's an old camera so you couldn't really shoot um, like I like to shoot a lot at for my style of shooting yeah like I said I really want the uh, image stabilizer and ideally decent Im image quality also on a bit higher ISOs so to be honest I think actually the GR for me for my way of shooting gives me better quality photos than the first generation RX1. The second generation, of course, I'm kind of, I've been tempted to pick that one up for many years now. Still haven't done it though. But uh, it's, it's a nice camera. It's the world's smallest full frame camera still, which is pretty impressive. Oh, Mossburger here. <laughs> but yeah, I do think on paper the RX1 is uh, also very close to my ideal camera. If they just made it stabilized, I would maybe splurge for that. Should I give Moss a second chance? <laughs> well, it's it's too too early for a burger anytime. Any 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 anyway. It's, what time is it now? Okay, it's actually twelve thirty. So we have Alpha One. Happy to see you. So yes, yes. Yes, very camera. Yes. やっぱりソニーはすごいカメラにとってすごい頑張ってる。I might grab some snack once we get to our GOD. Still feel it's a little bit too early to eat something. 
ちょっと高いですけどそうねそうね高いですね高いけど機能的にもすごいカメラだからしょうがないですね<笑> Sony try to beat Canon and Nikon I think Sony has already beat them a long time ago Unfortunately, I'm stuck with Nikon. <laughs> uh, I'm happy with Nikon though, but um, I think uh, Sony is definitely... Um, if I were to start from scratch now, if I didn't own any lenses, I would, I would get a Sony easily. What about Samsung and the Galaxy S21 camera? Um, I'm interested, um, but um, I think when it comes to mobile phone cameras, I still think that OnePlus, the camera I'm currently using for this stream, is uh, pretty much as good as it gets. Samsung is probably on a similar level, but uh, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be better. Um, But if I would buy a new phone right now, I would probably get the uh, S21 Ultra. biggest company obviously and they I guess the only one of the big camera manufacturers who are still doing relatively well so that means a lot I wonder for how long how much longer Nikon will still be around Five hundred twenty people. It's this gardening shop, I think. Hmm. S twenty one Ultra has a ludicrous. Yeah. The megapixels doesn't really matter much, but it's more like the physical sensor size, uh, which is about the same in the S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 8 Pro. So we'll see. Maybe next um, uh, next year we will see some significant upgrades. But I think this year won't. Maybe next generation iPhones could be interesting as well. Leica M10, yeah. Leica is also an interesting brand, but you pay a lot for, for the brand name. And you give up a lot of things like autofocus, but uh, they definitely serve a purpose for a certain uh, kind of uh, photographers. <laughs> Came for the journey, get the camera, mobile phone reviews. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. And too geeky. Um, is Japan always this sunny in the winter months? Yes, pretty much. It is generally very sunny during the winter months which is what I like. Mm, let's see. Need to check the map again. 
Yeah. I'm afraid I have to continue a little bit further along this somewhat boring road. But then we should reach a river and things should get a little bit more interesting again. Again, it doesn't really feel like we are in Tokyo right now, at least not for me. It feels like I'm in some small town in rural Japan. But uh, hmm. we are indeed still within the city limits, city borders of Tokyo. <laughs> Little uh, field. Or a little, what do you call it, hatake, the growing vegetables. Take a more Japanese topic. How are Japanese smartphones compared to the usual well known ones? I feel that the Japanese phone manufacturers have kind of lost uh, the ability to innovate. There's nothing interesting coming out there. There's a few, like Sharp is still producing a lot of phones here in Japan, for example. Um, but um, yeah, they're like, uh, but they're very bland and boring. They don't do anything new, so. I think Kyocera is also doing phones, but again, just like low-end or mid-range phones that aren't particularly interesting. Interesting, however, is this shoe shop. <laughs> Is it true that most Japanese use iPhones? Yeah, I think iPhone is the most popular smartphone in Japan. I don't know why. To be honest, maybe they were growing to too wild or something. The only smartphone maker was just a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Years ago I had a tiny Siemens phone and I had it for six years, yeah. That was the good old days. I remember for sure. Five hundred more meters, and we should hit the bridge. Oh, 
come back I'll leave So I should be able to turn down here. And reach four. This one now. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, my bad. Need to continue a little bit further. Let's cross here before it turns red. Made it, yes. Not exactly the prettiest area of Tokyo. Yeah, totally agree. <laughs> So I just passed a little ad for a house, I think newly built house around here. And it didn't say the price of the house, but it said that the monthly payments would be around 50,000 yen per month, which is very, very cheap. So I think land prices around here are very cheap as well. And in Japan, basically all the housing loans are, you pay it off in uh, 35 years. That's like the default housing loan here. I don't know if they have any loans that are longer than 35 years. But, uh, and interest rates are very low as well. And have been for a very long time. Nice, I like, like this layering of the mountains in the back. That's probably the, the direction we are heading. Yeah, I can see the bridge down there. So that's the br bridge we're crossing uh, soon, should be. And we are officially now entering, let's see. We are entering Hachioji city, according to this sign over here. Wow, Rockaway Siren, that must be a great feeling to finally see the end at the, <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel.
generational loan in Japan? Uh, I don't know. That's not something I'm so familiar with. All I know is that 35 years is kind of the most common and it's they call it flat 35 and I I'm not 100% sure but I, I presume that means that you kind of lock the interest rates uh, so that that doesn't change or fluctuates uh, throughout the time of the loan Again, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure if you just Google flat 35 and Japan or something like that, you should be able to find the answer to that question. Okay, actually I have a little bit further to walk. So here's the here's the train tracks again, the two line tracks, but the bridge that the train passes is only a train bridge. Oh wait, is this? It's only one track. Let me double check so I'm not lying to you. Okay, I was lying to you. Okay, this is not the two line track. This is a small local train line which I cannot find the name of. Ah! Hachiko, Hachiko Sen Canal. So that's a small train line that I've never used in my entire life so far. Sorry, I should actually turn here. <laughs> Getting lost again. Turn here and walk down one block. So this name, Yuki san. Hachiko. The. Ah, I see Tom. So that's why. So the interest rate is actually a little bit higher than. I see, I see. That's the one I see advertised all the time though. I have not bought a house in either Japan and Sweden so or Sweden so I can't really compare. But yeah, definitely one. The main difference is that, um, just like uh, Nakagawa-san said, that the main difference is that the value here in Japan of real estate generally goes down, whereas in Sweden everybody buys uh, and expect it to be worth even more when they sell. But here in Japan, that's not the case. Ooh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this, that's a worthy screenshot for you. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna try taking a photo of it because with the 28 mm lens it's just gonna be super tiny. But 
always good to see good old Fujisan pop out when you when you don't expect it to. Yeah, the only value here is the land, not the structure itself. Very different, but it's a bit different if you buy an apartment. Those generally, especially newly built apartments, have a little bit longer expected lifespan these days. I think this is Hachioji that we see, those high-rise buildings over there. That's where we're heading. Yeah, they must have a really nice view from the balcony up here with the Fuji relatively up close and personal. We can also see Mount Fuji from my balcony, but uh, we're way further we way further away, so it's not nearly as dramatic as as uh, here. I think the newer apartments still have near zero insulation. No, our apartment is less than 10 years old and it's i would say on par with uh, a swedish apartment so it's like we, do, we don't hear our neighbors uh, temperature stays relatively like it, it's not super cold when we come home in the winter or you know super hot in the in the summer so it's 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 comfortable it works very well But there's still a lot of cheaper apartments who are which are really bad. Do you own a telescope? I do not own a telescope, no. Unfortunately not. If I were to buy a house in Tokyo around the greater Tokyo area, it would be Kamakura. Yeah, Kamakura would be nice. I would love to live in Kamakura actually. Um, but Kamakura is kind of expensive. It's a popular area. But yeah, when it comes to housing here in Japan, you really get what you pay for. If you have two options in the same location and one is twice as expensive than the, than the first one, then yeah, things like insulation and soundproofing and everything will be vastly different. I kind of like that though, in the sense that it's, you know, it makes the housing market a little bit more uh, democratic at least you can find a place to live everywhere in Tokyo basically no matter which budget you have uh, if you are willing to compromise on some other things whereas in cities like Stockholm or I don't know New York or where not it's like yeah it's much more expensive and uh, there's not as many different options I guess or at least the, the bar to entry is much higher I think that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> when I watch your channel I know it's weekend <laughs> nice. nice oh big dog here <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Not sure if I am the camera correctly, but it was a really big dog relaxing on the ground. I'm in an area with a social housing waiting list between 5 to 13 years. Yeah, the waiting list if you want a rent-controlled apartment in Stockholm is more like 30 years. Seriously, it's insane. I, I am in the queue. I've been in the queue for 15 years and I'm occasionally just logging in to see what I could get with that kind of waiting time. And it's like, yeah, something in the suburbs at the end of the subway system. That's what I can get after 15 years of uh, queuing <laughs> so it's 
pretty weird. Yeah, not even 30 years would like easily get you something. If you want like a nice and relatively affordable apartment. If you're willing to get like a newly built and twice as expensive apartment, then maybe 15 to 20 years would be enough if you want to live in the relative center of, Tok uh, of uh, Stockholm. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. The housing market there, at least rental housing, is, is very dysfunctional. Yeah, Laura, older than you. What people usually do is that they put their newborn children into the waiting list. Um, I think I'm going to do that as well uh, if and when we move to Sweden. Uh, you need to live in Sweden in order to sign up for the list. But then once you're in the list, you can, you can live abroad. That's fine. But for the initial sign up, you need to be a Swedish resident. So... Um, so here we have a big <laughs> off house liquor off hard off mode off hobby off book off <laughs> nice um takao seven kilometers oh really i thought it was i was still further away than that good to know okay i'm just supposed to continue here for a little while Cross the river and then I will be in Hachioli. Neat. <laughs> Something seems a little off about that building. <laughs> right. So we walked for an hour and 20 minutes now. Let's check battery status, 68% left. So it's, I guess the battery is on a good mood today. Uh, we only lost a third, so that means we should technically be able to stream for four hours if necessary. Great. Um, <laughs> Jenny, you try to <laughs> hide Ray's tongue. Closer to 600 viewers. Nice. Nice, nice. Jenny, you are very strict. Very strict. Okay, thank you. Slow 722. Thanks for joining. Yeah, if you would like to help me out and support the channel, pressing the like button is a very easy way to do so. always appreciate. If 
you really want to support the channel, you can join my Patreon. The link is in the video description and there will be a Patreon only live stream later today, after this one. So that's for those of you who are really, really, really into my stuff. Saying, is this Asagawa? Is that how you read this kanji? I'm not sure. But I think so. Oh, nice building over here. What's that? Church? It's like an old church. I think I'm supposed to cross here. What effect does mostly doing live videos have on your AdSense? Um, AdSense is not doing that much to me. So I am more relying on uh, Super Chats and uh, Patreon. Uh, I do get a little bit from ads, but it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty minor part. this river. The entire riverbed is a big construction zone. And then what's this? Maybe it's a wedding chapel. Or a restaurant? Not sure. Nice building though. before entering the live stream. Really? That's that's weird. I thought it was only one, but maybe. I mean, those ads, that's all up to YouTube, basically. basically. Um, the ads that you see before the stream, that's nothing that I can control. But, uh, and I personally, I've been using like YouTube Premium for ages, uh, so I don't see any ads. It's so worth it. I really recommend you to sign up for YouTube Premium if you do watch a lot of YouTube. So nice not to have to deal with that sort of thing. And it's also a way to support us creators because we get more from YouTube um, uh, YouTube Premium viewers uh, than we do from uh, regular ads. So the question now is if I should walk, follow the river for a little while. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Asa, Asagawa. I was right. Yeah, I also, having background play is also so worth it for me. I do a lot of, like, listen to a lot of YouTube videos when I'm on the train and when I'm falling asleep or whenever. Um, okay, so I should not really follow the river here. I should walk down to central Hachioji. in order to have a chance to finish the entire walk today I need to prioritize uh, the quickest route river might be a bit more scenic but yeah 
still have pretty far to go, so... could also do part seven but to be honest I, I'd rather start a new series tomorrow than going all the way out here one more time uh, for just like a five kilometer walk so I will try to finish it up today and start a new adventure tomorrow I hope you all agree with that I've been to Hachioji like once before so this is also a very new area for me but Hachioji is a like major it's like a city within the city it's pretty urban wouldn't be surprised if it has like a couple of hundred choose hundred thousand residents or something like that the tax office here right it's almost time to declare the taxes for last year I need to get started with that it's never fun When are taxes due in Japan? I think, I don't know the exact date, but I think it's sometime in March, usually. Last year it was like extended for as long as you wanted because of the pandemic. So they kind of lifted the deadline. Uh, but uh, I think this year, this year they're just encouraging people to do it online, which you actually can do, um, which is a bit surprising for Japan, but it is possible to declare your taxes online um, in some cases not in all cases I don't think it's possible for me since I'm doing since I'm self-employed so it's a little bit more complicated for me anyway let me check the map again yes this is the right way this is taking us down to Keio Hachioji station I mean, it's not that bad actually here in Japan. I find it relatively easy and the, ta uh, the staff at the tax office are actually super friendly and helpful and they, they like they want to help you to d do more deductions in many cases which is kind of funny. In Sweden it's the complete opposite. 
the tax office do whatever they can to get as much money as possible from you but here in Japan I don't really feel like that it's more like oh do you work from home oh well then you can deduct this and this and how about your electricity bill and you know it is a very very friendly at least compared to Sweden I don't know about other countries but And I must say, Japan is a very good country if you're self-employed. At least compared to Sweden, again. It's relatively easy here and uh, it's also pretty generous in terms of what you can claim as a business expense. Uh, so yeah, you can make a lot of deductions here, like meals. Uh, as long as you can reasonably claim that it has something to do with your business um, it's deductible whereas in Sweden it's like you can only deduct a maximum of like ten dollars uh, for meals uh, and you really need to show them exactly why it was necessary for your business to do that Yeah, now we're suddenly in a relatively big city again. That's the station over there. Oh, and here's also here's the Keio Hachioji station. So I think from here you can get the train all the way to Shinjuku, the express train. I'm not sure how long it takes, a little less than an hour I think. Maybe more like 45 minutes. Not sure though, but if it's an express train. stream every meal you'll never pay tax again yeah maybe I should do that maybe that would be a good reason to start a food channel the rents are cheap here I just randomly picked one but three thirty three thousand yen for 28 square meters uh, this is 79,000 yen for 37 square meters way cheaper than central Tokyo that's for sure for salaried workers there's no way out for tax deduction yeah well I think that's the same in most countries isn't it like if you're just a regular salaried worker your opportunities for tax deductions is much smaller Do they have washing machine and dryers in most units? No, that's usually not included here. That's something you have to buy separately. Most Japanese people have um, washing machines at home but for drying uh, many people just hang the clothes on the balcony that's actually like the main purpose of balconies in this country people rarely use balconies for anything else other than to put their like 
the external part of the air conditioner and also to hang their laundry so it's a bit different than what I'm used to ah, thank you Stephen you finally joined patreon thank you so much yes I think I just I got just got an announcement or a notification that someone joined I guess that's you then thank you so much oh Hachioji so for Hachioji oh they have a dot para here I did not know that that's a PC PC hardware shop that's where I bought, bought the components for my um, home-built PC that I have How do you dry clothes in rainy season? Well, even during rainy season, there's like, it's not 100% always raining. There's usually a bit of sunshine as well. And actually on the weather report, they always tell you like, if you, if it's good, if it's a good time to hang out your clothes for drying. Or of course, if necessary, people just hang them indoors. That's, that's a viable option as well. Some people have dryers at home though. Our washing machine has a dryer built in as well, so it does both. So, Hachioji Station. I think, I think this is the second time ever for me to come here but it definitely feels like yeah you're in a big city again Does your combination washer dryer work well? Yes, it works very well. Uh, we are very happy with it. We've had it for two and a half years now. It was pretty expensive though. Uh, so it, it should be good. My wife insisted on us getting it. But I think it was like 250,000 yen or something like that. So quite expensive. But it serves us very well so and especially now with the baby we need to wash more than ever before so Let me check the map. Um, just trying to figure out if there's a particular side of the station I should be on, but not really, no. I could just walk here. So looking at Google Maps, we're kind of halfway through. So we started here and now I'm here and Patao is there. So about halfway through to um, Takao Station. Six hundred twenty six people watching now. Wow.
I think I should walk down here and continue towards the mountains. Soul Grill for burger. Hmm. Sounds nice. I am actually getting a little bit hungry, but uh, it's a little bit too busy for me around here. Let's see if we can find something a little bit further away it's a little bit more quiet Nice pedestrian shopping street. I like that. Nishi Hoshasan New Road. Nishi Hoshasan? Isn't Hoshasan radioactivity? <laughs> nice reflection reveal there. <laughs> and yes, I do like striped sweaters. <laughs> ah, did I get a super chat? Sorry, I might have missed that. Thank you so much. Yeah, you saw me in the reflection. Reflection reveal. Okay, there's a Burger King here. I just get a takeout. Let me check the map again and see if we have some park or greenery coming up. Oh, uh, yeah, we do actually. What do you say, Burger King? ですか。ママ。ラーメン好きですけど、ストリームしながらラーメンの食べるはちょっと難しい。No. Okay. Since uh, Yeni Skunk is one of my most long-term supporters and followers, I uh, her words uh, always carry a lot of weight. So, if she says no to Burger King, then it's no to Burger King. So, can you find another burger shop around here? Where I can do takeout? Yeah, I don't mind Burger King. Of all the like big chains, I think Burger King is alright. McDonald's there but definitely not doing that. Let's see, am I supposed to cross here or no? Maybe. Soul Grill, oh yes, that's right. Could you send the link again? 
You sit around here. Himawari, thank you for joining my Patreon. Another new member, thank you so much. Uh, so real. I'm looking it up now. 350 meters from here, and it's kind of on the way. Okay, let's go there. Let's go to Soul Grill. Then I need to cross here. here and then turn left. Soul Grey Grill has great reviews so I think that's a good idea. So let's go down here. Thank you, Yenny. Thank you, Fungus, for posting the, the address. And also, toilet brush salesman. looks like this street that I just passed is like nightlife area of Hachioji. Sweden to Krabberetan Japan was a little bit of a You guys are really enjoying my uh, burger reviews, I guess. <laughs> Take out to Takao, yes. So, Sweden, Motto Mendoxai is yo. Sweden, Sugoi Kibishi. Nihon Nara, Nanka. Nanti. Sweden to Krabbe, so some of the Kibish Kunai. So, has Tokyo Explorer become an official burger channel yet? Uh, I don't think two burger reviews. It's enough to make it a proper burger channel. Not even three. I still, I, I think we still have a way, long way to go until it becomes a proper burger channel. And actually, I feel, find it kind of sad that I'm reviewing burgers. I mean, after all, I'm in Japan. I should be reviewing some Japanese food. That would be better. Now I'm just like stereotypical foreigner in Japan who likes burgers. <laughs> but shogunai. Should be reviewing natto. Yes. That would be more like it. But I guess 
then again like after all these walking it's like it's nice burgers are you know relatively quick to eat to eat and filling lots of calories to color the ones I burned from all the walking so in Sweden is every trade managed to link to a personal number uh, trade you mean like trade of stocks or what kind of trade but yeah we have a personal number similar to my number in Japan and it's been around since before I was born and uh, it's usually always used whenever you need some to conduct some sort of official business or like open a bank account or go to the hospital mm. let me check the map I should turn here sorry so Soul Grill should be down here to be a little bit further ah oh, maybe there yeah that's it great soul grill we found it two hours of streaming so far oh look they even have a flag selling saying cold beer tasty burger Okay, I got a burger. I did not get a cold beer though. I will get that after the burger, I think. Would you rather have tempura or fish and chips? Uh, I like tempura. I do like fish and chips too though um, but if I had to choose I would go for tempura I just got the avocado cheeseburger Oops. let's see how much 1512 a bit pricey
Hopefully it's gonna be worth it. And uh, yes, there's a park not too far away. Um, and uh, I'm waiting for the burger here, by the way. That's why I'm standing here. Um, and then I will go to a nearby park and hopefully I will also pass a convenience store and so that I can get a beer. So but I deduct that burger. <laughs> yes, there we go. Uh, it's near Temple. Yeah, I saw that on the map. Uh, 100 yen is about $1, so about you put on your burger ketchup mayo um, I don't really have much of a preference I usually just get it the way it's delivered I think the chefs uh, should you know decide what the burger tastes like so mm. Fifteen for burger with fries. It comes with fries, yeah. I learn a lot in this life. Cone, crane and burger. <laughs> nice. A lot of valuable knowledge, I bet. Thank you, Fungus. Thank you. Wow, that's very nice of you. Appreciate it. I do like the avocado. Yeah, yeah, I do like avocado on burgers. And I do also like pineapple on pizzas. Looks legit. Sorry to keep you waiting. Should have called in and made the order so that it was just ready to pick up once I got here. <laughs> maybe. Maybe that will be the next step. for burger stream yes in the meantime I'm giving you this stream of a boring street in a suburb suburb to Tokyo
of the restaurant signboards. Here you go, Soul Grill. This is what the place looks like. takes they have table service as well but uh, ah. so let me check the map again. And, uh, yes, I'm just walking straight and I should hit that uh, the little park next to the farm. Park looks a little sad, the temple looks nicer. Let's see. Well, hopefully, it will do for a quick burger munch before I continue my adventure. And we'll There's no traffic here, so I will actually cross. Fujimori Koen, Doko Daro. Delicious noodles, yes, you should order a burger as well. Um, <laughs> mm. Doesn't look like there's a convenience store around here though. Remember like five minutes ago it felt like we were like in Shinjuku? Now it feels like we're in the countryside again. The vibe just changes as soon as you get one block away from the main streets. Oh, is this a park? Yeah, there's a park here as well. Then there's one a little bit further down next to that temple. Let's see what this place is like. There's one, two, two benches. It's a pretty sad park, but uh, let's do this. Let's burger. I do want to sit in the ch in the shade, though. Ideally. Also. There was a vending machine somewhere, so that I could at least get a drink with this burger. That would be even better. Hmm. But 
doesn't look like there's any vending machines around here. Also doesn't look like there's any available seats in the shade. So I will just check the, the next park. There is, however, a cute little cafe here. Cafe no Kojita. So, uh, that slide was a little bit too small for me, I think. So, here's the shrine, shrine, temple? Which was it? This is a temple, I think. Yes, it's a temple, uh, but I can't really, I don't know, I don't think I can eat here. Or is it okay? I don't know, at least we can pass through. Yeah, it doesn't feel like the place I want to sit down and eat even though there is a table here but I think I'll continue walking until I find a little bit more appropriate location Tanjin Park Tanjin Park Let's look at the map Oh, that one, eh? Uh, yeah, let's see what that looks like it Looks pretty similar to the place I just passed um, There's also Oh, but that's also just a temple. Hmm. This is difficult. How about Fujimori? Ne, Fujimori Koen no hoga i desu ne. It's a 10 minute walk. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I will head to Fujimori Park. There's also a small park on my way there. That I can check out. So let's let's go back here. Avocado is spoiling. Yeah, that's the thing with burgers. It's not they go they go bad relatively quickly. Which isn't great, but Shogunai. Now six hundred people worried about your eating. <laughs> imagine that there's a group of 600 people behind me when I'm walking around like this yellow tea happy birthday happy birthday and yes this is live Here and then turn at this crossing. I'm surprised that 
there's not a vending machine in sight right now that's very rare If I turn here, I'm almost at the park. Cool house, no windows. that hates you thank you so much IT a bench fund <laughs> yeah a portable bench that would be something and those diamonds yeah I really need to put that in the FAQ it means that there's a pedestrian crossing coming up no vending machines Oh, so strange. Okay, there's a 7-Eleven. Excellent. 7-Eleven means... I can go across here because no traffic. 7-Eleven um, means that I can have a beer with my burger. Which is wonderful. expected mm. I'll go for a kitty today ありがとうございます。はい、はい、どうも。very automated 7-eleven okay got a beer got burger got beer and there should be a little park over here then I have everything I need I have everything I need 
That's to heat the burger. Yeah, it's been an awful long time. So I don't think I can make a fair assessment of this burger. Uh, but that's, it is what it is. Oh, thank you, Ryan, for the, for the super chat. Beer, it's on you, I guess. Thank you for that. Well, there's this small part here. Let's see if we can eat there. Otherwise, there's a bigger one uh, as well. But hopefully, this will serve us good enough. Here, it's a cute little park, and it looks like there's some seats up here as well. Perfect, perfect. This will be great. This will be a great place for a beer and a burger. This will do. It's in the shade. That's basically my main concern right now. So let's see how to set up this. Today's burger stream. Can I put the camera here? Oh no, it's not really stable. Okay, just give me a moment, folks, in order to work this out. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting. Here's the burger un unboxing. I should do an unboxing video of this burger. So here you go. And then, okay, now I need to put this somewhere. Let's see, does this work? It's not ideal, but. Maybe it will work. Ah, no. No, no. Across my tissue. First and foremost, I think you all know by now that I take hand sanitation very seriously. There we go. should also put my second phone somewhere so that I can actually see what you're saying. Um, let's just see what the framing looks like. This is not ideal because I will most likely just end up with some burger sauce on myself. Um, spoil my jacket than my trouser and my sweater so let's sorry for being so convoluted okay there we go now I think I can eat now I think I can be as messy as I want without having to be too concerned about things and then of course beer beer is 
important. Okay, finally, burger time. At least it still has a little bit of heat left. Mm, look at this. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Itadakimasu. And it's not too soggy either. It still actually has a lot of okay, juiciness left. Mm. I definitely give this give this burger a thumbs up. It's very good. Maybe because I was very hungry, but it's a good burger. Sorry, I'm a little bit um, disconnected from the chat. Ikko de tariru. Mmm, tariru. It's a fly tariru. One is definitely enough. Uh, it's a big burger. Mm. <laughs> Mecha hamburger tabitakunat. <laughs> Um, no, it's a good, it's a good, uh, good burger. I like this. It's, I like it because it's lots of vegetables. That makes it feel a little bit healthier than your average junk food burger. Even though that's probably just a mental thing, but anyway. open the beer. Kampai. Sorry, I'm so busy eating and drinking. I'm not checking what you're saying in the chat. <laughs> mm. Wait, does he have ketchup? Mm. I think there's some ketchup on this burger, but not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's definitely ketchup. Ketchup and mustard, as you can see on this. Yeah, avocado slice down here. Mm. Such a nice walk. We've been swinging for what? Two and a half hours now? 15,700 steps.
let me check the chat again. パンが柔らかそうですね。まあまあ。ちょうどいい。Yeah, of all the three burgers I had so far throughout this stream, this one was by a pretty good margin the best. Despite the fact that it had been in a, you know, in a bag for probably 15 minutes, I'm sure it would have been much better if it was fresh. But still. Nothing to complain about. Um, I should worry, Aru. Aru, Aru. I was so busy with the burger that I forgot, completely forgot about these. Okay, let's change the view a little bit. I don't know. How interesting this is, but I'll be down soon, and then I will keep on walking. Just a little lunch break here in this nice, nice park. Yeah, and I lost about hundred viewers from eating this burger. <laughs> Unfashionable pants reveal. Yeah, they're not fashionable. Uh, burger rating. I don't know what scale should I use. On a on a scale of one to five cones, I would rate this four. Four glorious cones. Meaning, way better than average, um, but not flawless. The meat was a little bit. Should I say, uninspiring?
So I'm wondering how far it is until we reach Takao from here. Let me check. I'm just gonna have the last fries and then wipe my hands. There we go. Without even checking the chat, I'm sure my Japanese viewers are now surprised that I wipe my hands after eating. But yeah, I want to wipe them after having a greasy meal like this. Since I sanitized them before, I think that's okay. There we go. 540. Wow, viewers dropping so quickly. Gochisousama. So, um, let's see. Station 4.4 kilometers to go. Uh, one point, I don't know if you can see, 1.2 hours according to Google. Oh. Let me check the battery. 38% left, so I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Okay, let me just put down the camera one more time and um, get all my stuff together and then we will keep on walking. Oh, Irvan! Irvan, thank you so much. Good afternoon. <laughs> thank you so much. Mm. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yes. to finish my beer, but I'm almost done. The legendary Kirin is a symbol of good luck. Enjoy its original quality. Remember that. Finish the beer, masking up again. Okay, okay, okay. Once again, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Oh, I'm full now. Koen nara 30 meter nagasa 
の滑り台があるそうですえー、すごい上の上の町上野町上野町公園ってどの辺ですかあ、oh, wait I need to cross it Battery 37% left. 地震だえ本当全然感じてない。So I'm just gonna go back to 7-Eleven and throw away my Trash. Do you feel an earthquake? No. Someone, people are saying that there's an earthquake now. 全然感じてない。I, I didn't feel it at all. But some people say that you could feel it in Tokyo. So, I see. First time I had an earthquake happening during the live stream. But, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. I didn't notice it at all. Okay, so now I have both my hands free. I'm full, I've had a beer. Um, all that's left now is to check the... Okay. I should be heading this way. We are now on track to reach Takao in about an hour. And I think my battery should last me long enough for that. That's a good thing. I'm pretty far from Urayasu, but I think. Doesn't sound like it was a big earthquake though. Just one of those minor ones that happens occasionally, I guess. Yeah, I'm So I'm looking at the map again. Uh, Nishihachioji Station. So that's what I'll be aiming for now. The 
まあ振動に出したなるほどえっとバーガーンビアを need a nap I kind of need a nap too I'm feeling a bit tired like it would be nice to just lie down and chill for a moment but hey I have 559 people watching so let's keep on walking Well, the view from up here must be great. We're kind of on a hill now. So I'm sure those living on the upper floors in this building must have a really nice view. Oh, Felix Schellberg. That's, uh, what's his name? PewDiePie, right? So he's moving to Japan, I did not know that. Maybe I should take him on one of my walks. As I said, we're like on a hill, so there's a bit of a view here. Um, and yeah, now we're in a super residential area, so that's why there's hardly any people out. Um, I think we can walk down here. We should get a little bit of view. Nice little, very humble park, but still kind of nice view. Have you considered doing a stream with a local YouTuber like John Dobb? Um, maybe sometime that would be fun. There's a few YouTubers here in Tokyo. It would be fun to meet them and do something together. I'm always open for it, but I'm a little bit too busy and maybe also a little bit too minor to kind of, uh, yeah, to approach any of them right now. But uh, who knows, it might happen, might happen sometime in the future. Not cutie pie, <laughs> PewDiePie. He's one of the biggest YouTubers. He's a uh, mainly gaming YouTuber, but uh, he's uh, Swedish. So, and apparently he's moving to Sweden, uh, moving to Japan soon. I've been thinking about doing 
but it would be nice to do walks with other people rather than just having me rambling all by myself all the time um, so that's probably gonna happen sooner or later uh, those other people doesn't have to be youtubers or anything though um, we'll see but for now it's fine to do it like this but once I have a little bit more time again I might uh, uh, try some new new concepts nice uh, tempo Yeah, I would love to meet uh, the life where I'm from guy. He's probably the one I would be most interested in just meeting or collaborating with as well for that matter. He's, I consider him to be probably the best Japan based YouTuber out there. I like his style. Have you watched John Dobb? Yeah, I watched some of his videos. I think he's very good in, especially his, um, like, on his old channel, the Only in Japan, when he made like this. Well, he's still doing those, the, the mini documentaries. They're very, very well produced, and I really think he does a great job. Yeah, Ryan is in Tokyo quite often. I think he did. Didn't he stream from like Odaiba a few days ago? Oh, he moved to Japan. Oh, moved, moved to Tokyo. I see. I did not know that. I think station is probably around these slightly bigger buildings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's Nishihachi Oji. And actually that's... Huh, I see. That's actually the last stop. There's no more stop until Takao, 
So uh, I'm here. Let's see what Google says. Google tells me 48 more minutes. thing is like this doing these long walks I think I would be very tired if I did it with someone else because that's too long for me to be social for like three four hours that just makes me really exhausted if I were to do street streams with others maybe one to two hours would be good longer than that then I'm not sure too much of an introvert. Yeah, there's a few Japanese people doing walking videos as well. I don't know anyone who live streams though, but there's a few channels which looks like they're run by Japanese people who are uh, uh, doing walking videos. And yes, the station after Takao is Sagamiko, which is an area that I absolutely love. I want to stream there someday. But I think walking from Takao to Sagamiko would be very difficult. That's why I decided to end the stream at Takao. And also, Sagamiko is actually not in Tokyo. Sagamiko is in Kanagawa Prefecture. So I thought Takao is a good place to end because that's the last stop within Tokyo. This is a somewhat eccentric karaoke, karaoke place, but I'm having this way. Collab with Virtual Japan. Yeah, who knows? That could potentially happen someday. I met him. He's a very nice guy. Train tracks down there, good, that means we are on the right track, no pun intended. No, I don't think guests would have to be YouTubers. I don't think so. I, I'd rather have like, I don't know, interesting people. Uh, if they're on YouTube or not is irrelevant. But there's lots of non-YouTubers that I would love to take a walk with. And like I said, that's that's probably gonna happen sooner or later.
yeah, basically turning it into a podcast. It would be video podcast. Maybe we should just do it on Clubhouse audio only. Stations down there. Bats in Tokyo podcast. That sounds really boring though. I'd rather not limit it to just expats. Would love to have Japanese people. What are they building here? I don't know. Maybe another residential building. Good night, Joseph. So, to be honest, this street looks not super exciting. There's a river a few blocks down that I would rather follow, to be honest. Maybe once I get a little bit... Oh, man. I think I can turn soon. Ah, but then again, battery 28% left now. I should probably stick to the shortest route in order to finish this before the battery dies. Then I need to recharge a little bit. What's the best coffee shop in Tokyo? Oh, there's so many good ones, but one of my favorites and one that I go to quite often is uh, Let It Be Coffee in Futako Tamagawa, close to where I live. That's why I go there so often. But it's run by a very nice and friendly couple and uh, they have great taste in music and the coffee is uh, very delicious. Great, Jenny, you already have it starred in the Google Maps. Um, route 20, the other side of the railway. Uh, yeah, along the river, right? Or, ah, that one, the main road. Ah, big roads are generally not my thing. In that case, I prefer this slightly smaller one. But um, I do uh, yeah, I'll just walk the shortest path. Uh, I do have a power bank, but the thing is that I also have uh, windshields on the phone and I can't recharge it while streaming because of those windshields and it also kind of messes up the gimbal if you have it connected with a cable at the same time because the phone is the phone I'm using is almost too heavy 248 cake so let's see if we can we have yeah, 27%. We've already streamed for three hours. So, just need to go a little bit further. Shouldn't be more than 30 minutes left now if I walk this street in relative high pace.
Is it windy today? Not really, not right now. But I always have that, uh, the windshields attached when I stream, because you never know. How far we got left to go? Let's see. Let's see. 37 minutes according to Google Maps. I think if I walked a little bit faster than usual, that should be 30 minutes. Big drugstore here. Create is such a weird name for a drugstore. Sounds like it should be like a stationery shop or something. But no. Uh, weather report. Yeah, it's three hours ago, so let's let's check the weather again. 14 degrees now. Light wind. 29% humidity. Five, five, five viewers now. Nice. Do a coastal or harbor walk sometime. Yeah, I did not too long ago. I walked along the Eureka Mome line, which is mostly waterfront areas. And I'm thinking about going to Enoshima sometime soon. I would love to do that and then also I'm thinking about maybe do a Tokyo monorail uh, walk sometime which would take us to Haneda airport and mostly through the um, you know the, the areas near Tokyo Bay so it's definitely coming it's definitely coming Right? Create sounds like a crafts and hobbies chain. Yeah, that's what I think too. Very strange for a drugstore. Daiba. I did Odaiba just two weeks ago when I walked the Eureka Mome line I passed Odaiba so, but I plan to go there again and do an evening walk sunset walk over Rainbow Bridge sometime as well that's logistically pretty easy for me so that could even happen as soon as this coming week. So uh, it just struck me. Uh, I'm surprised that I haven't mentioned this before, but uh, <laughs> I will post a link there's actually a place called coffee cone in Tokyo I've been there they serve espresso in ice cream cones um, I guess I need to go there on the stream sometime ah 
Thank you, Chunky Monkey. 本当にお疲れ様でした。Laura is an awesome moderator and keeps this up. Thank you so much. Yeah, less than half an hour to go. Then I will probably try to find a place where I can sit down and do the recharge the batteries a little bit. And then I will do the Patreon stream. Um, so for those of you who are interested, there's still time to join my Patreon if you want to join my Patreon only stream. So. I will do Patreon only streams every weekend this month if I can. I'm, I'm not promising anything, but I will try to. Because there might be some work trips coming up that could eventually make that a little bit difficult. But、um, yeah. At Kagurazaka. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should do that. See, have you been to Sendai before? Yes, I've been to Sendai. Actually, I will take this pedestrian bridge here. So that you get a bit of a view.、Uh, Sendai is great. I like that city a lot. Would love to go again. Been a couple of times. Mama Poki Girl. Nice view from there with the mountains in the background. Basically, the entire western side of Tokyo is lined with mountains, and we are pretty close to that mountain range now. So, Takao is the most famous one of those mountains, I think. Well, of course, Mount Fuji, but Takao is. Very popular day trip destination because it's very easy to climb and there's some nice hiking trails there. But、uh, yeah, I won't be doing that today. Quite far away from Shibuya, yes, I am. I can't believe that I've actually walked all the way from Tokyo Station to. Takao. I'm almost there. Next stop on the Chuo line is Takao. So I managed to do it. And how long did it take? Did I start two weekends ago? I think so. Six episodes, two weekends. It's been good. It's been very good. Passing a big shopping mall in a bit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just know that I'm passing a very, very cool, very fashionable shutter right now. Beauty in S. Nice.、Um, I'm very unfamiliar with this area. I've never been here before. 
I'll climb Takao many times, but when I do that, I usually take the train to Takao Sanguchi Station. So I'm not even familiar with Takao Station. Uh, that's a different station. This weather makes me wish that I was wearing a hat or something though. Yeah, Takao is a nice little day trip. As long as you can avoid the, the worst crowds, it's actually quite nice. Kusapsu Onsen. Yeah, that's a nice place too. Haven't been. This last part is pretty boring. Pretty soon. Delivery truck arriving. At least here it's a bit of shade. That's nice. Okay, it really feels like I'm in a small town. By the way, one thing struck me when was that yesterday. Um, so, for those of you who don't know there's actually Tokyo so if you're looking at a map uh, here's Tokyo right there's these islands in Tokyo Bay which are actually a part of Tokyo as well they're like within the city limits of Tokyo so the people living there you know they're Tokyo residents um, and there's flights to those islands from the airports in, in Tokyo, in downtown Tokyo. So there's actually flights that take off in a city at, and lands in the same city. Are there flights like that in many other places? Like flights that doesn't leave, like commercial scheduled flights with like daily departures that are only flying within the city limits. Does anyone know? Yeah, all the way to, down to Ogasawara, which is, by the way, my number one destination that I want to go in Japan. Uh, I've been to a few other of those islands, um, but uh, so the, the island, the habit, inhabited island that's still a part of Tokyo, but the furthest away. It's called Chichijima and it's like a 30 hour ferry ride to get there. There's no flight to that island because there's no airport. Uh, so that's the place I really want to go in Tokyo or in Japan. We'll see if it happens sometime. It would be great to stream there. Toronto Island is in the city of Toronto. And can you fly there? Can you fly from, I don't know anything about the geography of Toronto, but are there like flights from Toronto to Toronto Island? If it's helicopter, it might be Catalina Island. Yeah, that's right. In California, right? Yeah, Chichijima. 30 hour ferry ride. I would love to do that. Uh, 
I would love to do that on a ferry and I would also stream on the island for sure. Jeju Island on Catalina Island is part of LA County, I see. And there's an airport with scheduled flights on Catalina or just helicopter? Kagoshima two months ago. Uh, and that's but that's in Kagoshima Prefecture, but it's not in Kagoshima City. So that doesn't really qualify to the requirements. Like I was talking about flights that's within a city, not like a county. I think if it's within a county, I think there's quite a lot of them all over the world. But flights that take off and arrive within the same city, that's what I'm curious about. A ferry from Je to Jeju from Japan? I don't know. I don't think so. There's flights, direct flights from from Tokyo to Jeju. But uh, hope the walk has been um, not super interesting. But at least the weather is nice. I love remote islands as well. New Caledonia would indeed be very nice to experience. Oh, I think the signal is a little bit weak around here. I'm actually not using Rakuten right now, I'm using SoftBank here because Rakuten uh, most certainly don't have signal out here yet. So according to Google, it's 17 minutes left to go. Only live stream. That's gonna be nice. Gonna be nice to hang out with my. Um, I will charge. Same time. Big school here. Signal's not being nice at all. But now it looks like it's stable again. So I guess it was just... No, I shouldn't junk it. Signal is really bad around here. Really bad.
I think it might be are we back? Yes, I think we're back now. So seems like I hit the part that had really poor signal. Well, that happens. But actually, so Docomo is uh, releasing a new plan soon with unlimited data. And Docomo is the big, best and biggest uh, network in Japan. So I will actually switch to that. But it's not launching until end of March, I think. Uh, but as soon as that's available, uh, I will actually switch to Docomo and then I expect my uh, signal to get better uh, especially when I'm out in the countryside and places like this does your phone cover Docomo? yeah 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 it does it does currently using Rakuten but Rakuten has really poor coverage outside of Tokyo and then I have the SoftBank uh, SIM in my pocket Wi-Fi which is usually okay but not great so I do think that Dokomo would be a meaningful upgrade because right around here I tried uh, switching to the Docomo or the SoftBank uh, Wi-Fi as well. I have it with me, but even SoftBank doesn't have good coverage around here. So I guess this is the shopping mall that Toto was talking about. numbers are jumping back up yes and also battery is jumping way down now I just got the low battery warning 15% left so it is indeed a pretty massive Mall, this really big. But yeah, I definitely need to charge um, before I can do the patron only stream. Patron mall stream. Mm. You really want to see that place so badly? Let's see. Let's see. Wait, is the Patreon stream right after this? Yeah, pretty much. I might have to take a little bit of a break first to charge the phone a little bit, but maybe within 30 minutes or so. But Laura, really no pressure. I'm sure it's in the middle of the night where you are, so if you are tired and sleepy go ahead and sleep for sure I think that's the train tracks up here maybe the KO line train tracks is this Chua line? not sure stream so far no 
we're at three and a half hours now but actually i did one stream which was over four hours that was the yurika mome odaiba stream what three weeks ago maybe three four weeks ago Ah, this is the Keio, yeah, Keio Takao line. I thought so. Chuo line should be further down this way. Living in Japan without a smartphone would be pretty challenging, I think. I am very dependent on mine, that's for sure. Asakawa. Okay, so the river, the, the river that I crossed is actually running, it, it's going all the way here, Asakawa River. I think that should be the Chuo Line trains down there. And the station is very close now. So we are indeed almost reaching the goal and we have nice afternoon sun sunlight as well nice photo weather right now actually battery level now 13% 13% but I think, I'm pretty sure that the station is just down here. So I think we are fine. Yes, fuel line train. apartment blocks here as well wonder if you live here I wonder if you enjoy going to Takao I'm sure there's tons of other hiking trails in these mountains as well though not you're not limited to only Takao but the charger with me and fortunately it has fast charging so 
if I can just charge the phone for like 10-15 minutes should be good but let's see if I can find a place where I can keep it plugged in while I'm streaming that's even better or I'll just have to resort to my mobile battery which works as well <laughs> There's actually a Moss Burger. <laughs> I see the Moss Burger. So should I have a burger after the burger? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Thank you, Terry, for joining the channel. Thank you very much. So this is the KO. Oh no, it's both KO and JR Takao Station. Great. All right, there's this bridge, if I remember correctly, that connects the two. In there. So I made it. I walked the entire Shuo line. No, the gates are actually here. Awesome. <laughs> Feels like such an anticlimax to reach the end. But I think I will just end this stream here in front of the station and uh, um, enjoy the fact that I made it all the way to Takao. So let's give me 10, 15 minutes for a toilet break and a little bit of uh, power plug hunting. Uh, then I will do the Patreon only stream. Uh, and the link for those of you who didn't notice I already pa pasted it on the patreon page uh, so you can find the link there and you can hang out in the chat until I get get back uh, but uh, yeah I think that's it for today <laughs> thank you so much goal Okay, thank you. Bye bye. See you next time. Matane. Auf Wiedersehen.